This is question number 22. It says the diagram shows the trapezium. All of the measurements are in centimetres. The area of the trapezium is 351 centimetres squared. In part A, we need to show that 2x squared plus x minus 351 is equal to zero. The question carries two marks. If we look at the area of the trapezium, we add the top and the bottom, divide by two, and multiply by the perpendicular height. So we're going to have now the bottom, which is x plus 5, plus the top, which is x minus 4. We divide by 2, and we multiply it now by the perpendicular height. The perpendicular height is 2x, and this is going to give us the area. So this will be equal to 351. So if we just collect like terms and simplify, we've got x plus x, which gives me 2x, and then we're going to have plus 1. So this will be 2x plus 1. I can see now that the 2 and the 2 are going to cancel, which will give me just x, and that's equal to 351. If I expand the brackets, I'm going to have 2x squared plus x is equal to 351, Subtracting 351 from both sides, we have 2x squared plus x minus 351 is equal to 0. This is now a quadratic equation in the form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. In part b, we're asked to work out the value of x. The question carries three marks. This is a quadratic equation. I could try and factor it but I think I'm going to use a calculator and use the quadratic equation. The quadratic equation, which is given in the book, is x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And that's where we have a quadratic equation in the form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So the value of a in this particular case is going to be 2, the value of b is going to be positive 1, and the value of c is going to be minus 351. So we'll have x is equal to minus b, which is minus 1, plus or minus the square root of 1 squared minus 4 lots of a, which is 2, multiplied by minus 351, and that will be all over now 2 lots of a. So 2 lots of 2, which is going to give me 4. So straight through the calculator, and remember I need to check two different solutions. So we've got minus 1, I'll start with the plus. The square root of 1 squared, then we're going to have minus 4 times by eight, uh, 2, let's put 2 in, times by 2, times by minus 351. Lots of different ways you can write that, entirely up to you. And we divide that now by 4. So we get 13. So x could be equal to 13. Let's put that one in. I'm just going to go ahead now and check the negative value in here. So let's go ahead and do that. So if we switch this over, and that one gives us minus 13.5. I'm just going to write down here that x cannot be equal to minus 13.5. So this now is our only valid solution. If we think about it, x can't be equal to minus 13.5 as it would give me this length of minus 27. So if you want to go ahead and try and factor it, you're more than welcome to do so. It's a calculator paper, so I'm simply going to use the quadratic equation which is given to me in the formula book. Final answer, x is 13 and that's worth 3 marks.